where I will cover the following topics. Uploading the models to the engine, manipulating scene objects, and setting up some basic physics for the scene. For this tutorial, I have found a nice model called a Medieval Fantasy Book. It is located uh, on Sketchfab and was created by Pixel. Uh, it is a very nice model. As you can see, it has a few animations. So what we will do is we also include these animations in our scene. And thank you, Pixel, again for creating such a nice uh, artwork. To download the model, I click download 3D model button and choose a GLB file format. GLB is really cool because it contains all uh, required files, including texture, textures in one uh, binary, binary file. So once the model is downloaded, I'm ready to import this model into the engine. First thing first is to find the scene from my previous tutorial uh, or you can just create a new scene from scratch. Once I open the scene, I'm ready to import the model. So to do, to do that, I uh, let me just reopen the window, uh, close all the things I don't need anymore. Yes, to do that, uh, I can just click on Add Object button and select a model. Uh, here I have the model I imported uh, from Sketchfab. Uh, to do that, uh, what you want to perform is to click on Add Asset button, select a model, and select a Medieval Fantasy Book GLB. Okay, now you have this model imported. I actually have two models and uh, I can remove one of these models uh, later. Uh, for now, I can just press insert button and you see the model is immediately rendered in the preview window. Uh, what you can do now is to press play button and preview the scene uh, in the play mode just to feel what has happened cool we have the scene uh, if you roam around you will notice that this scene has no physics attached to it and eventually somehow i will fall down so let's go to our next steps and uh, I believe the first thing is to remove the plane we're standing on because we don't need it anymore. To do so, I can click on the plane and press the backspace button or click on three dots and press remove button. Great, so I don't have this plane, I don't need any more on the scene. Uh, and uh, what I need to do next is to make this scene a rigid body. Um, a rigid body will make the physics engine aware of the object and automatically calculate its shape, <clears throat> adding it to the physics world. So to do so, I find modifications and select rigid body component. So you selected your scene on the left inspector, you selected modification and uh, added a rigid body modification. So this uh, object, uh, this model will be static uh, as I don't want to move it somehow during my session. And eventually I don't need to change any parameters here. Great. So uh, now I can walk around this, uh, this scene in preview mode. But I want to change one thing more. I want to adjust the spawn point because now I, I spawn in some weird location in, in a river. Let's move the spawn point here. <clears throat> okay, let it be just in the beginning of the scene. Great. Now let's preview what we have just achieved. Uh, I can just refresh <coughs> this page. Great, you see, we can walk around the scene 
It looks pretty cool. It is a real castle with physics calculated. Uh, I can walk in the castle. Uh, I don't know, jump. Check what's going on here. Cool. Mm, if you actually publish this scene as I have shown in my previous tutorial with this button and give it some unique name, uh, anybody who has the link can view it now and check how it works. The last thing uh, I want to cover in this tutorial is how to animate this model. To do so, I click on the model again, press the plus button in the modification section and select <coughs> animation component. Uh, to add animation, I need to choose it from uh, from my assets, so select animation, I choose medieval fantasy book and press insert button. And uh, I have a list of animations here, I choose the live animation. And as you can see now, the scene is animated. Uh, if I walk around the scene, I will notice that these wheels are running. So let's check how it looks in the view mode. Let's play a bit this scene. Oops. Okay, let's uh, let's play around this scene. Great, cool. So now you see the scene is animated. The flag is waving. Uh, the wheel is rolling. Cool. So it looks really fancy and nice. I believe this is all for this tutorial. So uh, just to summarize, we covered how to upload a custom model, which we took from Sketchfab. We removed uh, unnecessary plane anymore, uh, added our model to the scene, made it a rigid body. So our physics engine is aware of, uh, of this uh, model and added an animation. Also, we have adjusted uh, player spawn location. So, uh, so we know um, the point where the player starts its game. This is it for this tutorial. Thank you for your time.